اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ There has been some feedback from our brothers and sisters who revert to Islam in this country almost on a daily basis. Alhamdulillah, across the country, Islamic Supreme Council of Canada has a network of masajid where more than 30 ulama and scholars uh, are, are leading those uh, masajid, alhamdulillah. And within our own network, um, at least every week, uh, I get uh, good news from uh, any masjid that there is one brother or sister has embraced Islam. But there are some uh, suggestions that I would like to share with our Imams. As we all know that when a person embraces Islam, we ask the person to take Shahada and that is the practice of Islam. This is the first pillar of Islam to declare Shahada that you are uh, the believer of uh, that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the final messenger of Allah. But the Shahada uh, generally is taken in Arabic. The problem is those people who embrace Islam in this country, uh, overwhelming majority of them are absolutely not familiar with, with Arabic language. So they have never spoken any Arabic word. So when they take Shahada in Arabic language, uh, it is very difficult. And some of them has given me feedback that it puts them under stress. It puts them um, on the heart seat because generally the Shahada is taken in a Friday prayer or in public, um, which uh, uh, sort of uh, if they cannot pronounce the Arabic words easily or correctly, sometimes Imam uh, folk, uh, I mean, uh, pushes them to say in, uh, 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 in, uh, correctly, which is the right thing to do. But it is uh, embarrassing for those people and they have given me this feedback. So this is what I'm sharing and I'm reaching out to our network of Imams uh, across the country, uh, Islamic Supreme Council of Canada Masajid Imams and if other Imams can also um, understand or uh, um, you know this, this is only suggestions. When we asked uh, a person to repeat after the, the Imam who is helping the person to take Shahada we should not read the Shahada in one or two breaths. Like generally uh, what uh, some people do, some Imams do, they say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha. Now this person does not even speak one word of Arabic. How he will say the whole sentence in Arabic. So we have to break it down, word by word. And this is my suggestion, this is my opinion, that if the person cannot say in Arabic correctly and say it wrongly and puts this person on a hard seat. It's better to say in English or French, whatever the language is there, because that person has to understand what Shahada means. Anyway, so when we, um, when the Imam says that repeat after me, then we should break it down. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. And then the translation of this uh, shahada in English or French or whatever the language is. My dear brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, every week I hear this good news that somebody is embracing Islam. We should make things easy for the people who are, alhamdulillah, embracing our faith. And we should not be trying to sh see that these people who reverting to Islam become a perfect Muslim on the first day. So some Imams also explain to them the detailed teachings of Islam, the five pillars of Islam, six uh, articles of faith and many other things. Yes, these are very important things and every Muslim has to learn these things, no doubt about it. But please, on the first day, just give them the basic, what is haram, that's it. Then slowly, slowly, connect this brother or sister with someone who can over a period of time teach them what is 
permissible in Islam and what is not permissible in Islam, how to perform prayers. My dear brothers and sisters, as soon as the person converts or uh, reverts to Islam, the five prayers becomes mandatory on that person. But this person does not even know the one word of Arabic. So this person has to take his or her own pace to memorize the verses of Quran and memorize the kalimat that we do in Salah. We should not be pushing very hard. Now it's not only Imam, but rather than the community members, those who help this person to embrace Islam, they also push, oh, you know, hurry up, learn this, learn that. This overwhelms them. It's not a good thing. In our faith, it is allowed for a person who does not know to learn slowly, slowly. Yes, they have to learn, but with their own comfort zone. On the first day, we should teach them after the Shahada, we should say what is haram in Islam so they can stay away from those kabair, zina, adultery, alcohol, intoxicants, living together without marriage, right? Pig, alcohol, these things just basic that please stay away from this. You should not be touching them. You should not be, uh, you know, involved in those five, four things. My dear brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, Islamic Supreme Council of Canada has network of masajid and inshallah very soon we will be um, starting a project uh, that will help these uh, brothers and sisters who embrace Islam uh, on daily basis across this country. Inshallah that project is in the pipeline and very soon we should we will be announcing inshallah so we can help these uh, brothers and sisters who embrace Islam uh, because they, they go through a lot of stress. Sometimes their family gives them a hard time. Sometimes the society gives them a hard time. Sometimes they have to sacrifice many things and they need help. And inshallah, we will provide that support, financial support, as well as emotional and uh, uh, any other guidance that they need. But the most important thing is that after Shahada, the person, the woman has to be connected with a Muslim sister who can teach her the, uh, the uh, for the teachings of Islam, who can help her to memorize the verses and uh, how to perform salat and how to clean yourself, those things. And a man has to be connected with the man, so the, the uh, a Muslim man. And the Muslim man can teach them and help them to learn about Islamic faith. We should not overwhelm these brothers and sisters. May Allah help all of them. May Allah give them the strength of Iman. And may Allah guide us to understand how to convey the message of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, how to convey the message of Quran and how to convey the message of Islam. May Allah give us strength, may Allah give us wisdom and may Allah help us to bring this whole humanity towards peace. Peace. Islam is peace. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala habibi Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa barihi wa